In this video, I will show you how to create an awesome logo animation, using Adobe After Effects. Let's get started. Download, and open the Illustrator file. Here, I have separated each part of the logo, making it easier to create the animation. Those white color shapes are the mask layers. So select all layers and export into After Effects. Here, I'm using a plugin called Overload to export. If you do not have this plugin, simply drag and drop the Illustrator file into After Effects. These are my composition settings. You can adjust it to the same settings if you have a different one. Lock the background layer, so it will easier to manage layers. Select all the layers of the icon, and pre-compose them. Again, select all the text layers, and pre-compose. Let's animate the icon first. I will change the layer color of those two circles, so it will easier to identify. Let's animate the middle circle first. So hide all these layers. Select this layer. Press S, and open scale settings. Create two keyframes. 0, and 100. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. The animation looks good. Copy both keyframes, and paste them into the top layer. I will enable, that mask layer. Press U, and open keyframes. Move it about 5 frames forward. Change the track mat of the bottom layer, to alpha inverted mat. Let's see the animation. The animation is looking good. Select all keyframes, and move them to the start position like this. Enable these two circles. Press P, and open position settings. Create two keyframes. Change the position of both circles like this. Then it will automatically replace the keyframe we created. Select both keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Let's check the animation. Again, select all keyframes and move them into the start position, then pre-compose both layers. Select the middle circle, press Ctrl plus D, and make a duplicate. Then move that layer to the top of the composition. I will change that layer color, to a different one. So it will easier to identify. Also, rename it as Mask 2. Change that layer track mat to None. Select this layer, and change its track mat to alpha mat. Open scale keyframes of the mask layer, and delete them. Take the timeline to a position like this. Move this composition, a few frames forward like this. Ok. Now the flow of the animation is good. Move both these layers, to bottom. Let's check the animation. The animation looks good. Select these two layers, and pre-compose them. Change its track mat to alpha inverted mat. Now we can see these two small parts, working as a mask. But we have to adjust the flow of the animation, to appear it at the right time. So move the timeline to a position like this, press alt plus left bracket keys, and cut this layer. Let's check the animation. The animation is perfect. Now it's time to animate the text, so open text composition. Press Ctrl plus R, and get the ruler. Create a new guideline, and mark the bottom of the text. Select all text layers, press P, and open position settings. Create two keyframes. One keyframe in the same position. Move all the text layers downward like this. Then it will automatically create a new keyframe. Select all keyframes, and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Adjust the keyframes position, and correct the speed of the animation. Open opacity settings. Make two keyframes. 0, 
and 100. I will move those key frames, a few frames forward. Ok. Let's check the animation. I will remove the guideline. Select these layers, and move each layer two frames forward, one by one. I think the animation is a little slow. So select all keyframes and adjust the timing holding Alt key. Move all the keyframes backward, or to the starting position. OK. Now we have almost finished the work. Let's adjust the flow of the animation. Move the text composition a few frames forward, and correct the flow. Select both compositions, and parent to a null layer. Here, I'm using a plugin called Motion V2, to create the null object. If you do not have this plugin, simply create a null object and parent those two layers. Let's add a zoom out effect. Open scale settings and create two keyframes. I will set the values as 105, and 85. Select both keyframes and easy ease them. Go to graph editor, and change the speed graph to a shape like this. Check the final animation, and now we are done. Thank you.